We returned to Michael Garcia, not the same night or even the following morning, but a little while later, an evening a few days ahead. He's taken some time to himself to throw himself into some books and educate himself for further projects that are needed. And now, now that he's finished the book, we can start working again. Welcome back to Project Zomboid, everybody. And it's true, I actually spent some time doing a little bit of reading off camera because it was gonna take some time to get the experience boost that we need, but it ended up eating a couple of my days. Um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing as we are uh, now getting a nice fat experience boost from levels five and six of carpentry. But gotta keep in mind, we actually have all the other carpentry books that we need. Um, it just is, we were just missing that one. I need to check this sucker out for a second. We still have 77 fuel, so I'm going to turn this off. Now, while I was actually finishing up the book, a gunshot went off. So I'm coming out here, even though it's getting late and the sun is going down, and we're likely not going to need to, um, we're likely gonna, not going to have any time to do any real looting or anything. Uh, I do want to make sure we have no zombies kind of piling toward us in any way. I'm also checking the bodies of the zombies because there have been a few people who have rightly been saying I've not been checking the corpses and since I did take the lucky trait, I believe I took the lucky trait anyway, I did, um, it's smart for me to be checking them because they have a higher chance, still not a great chance, but a higher chance at carrying around some, uh, some more valuable and rare tools like the one thing that we still have missing, which is of course the axe, which once we have an axe, things are going to go really, really nicely. Um, we only need one plank, by the way, to be upgrading our walls, so running around grabbing planks isn't necessarily a bad idea either. I don't know if there's much left out this way in terms of planks, but we're going to take a quick look. We can actually make this run. I haven't even checked to see if there's water in here. Add water from water bottle. So we can throw water in, but that just means we don't have anything in there. Um, that we want. The other thing I'd like to get a skill book for is mechanics. Actually, we do have a me Oh, that's right. We have a mechanic skill book, but it's... The, the things that we do end up giving us so little experience that it ends up not being super great. Um, but that's all right. We're going to grab a knife. We're going to swing into this building here with a knife. Uh, a knife being pretty valuable in, in tight quarters like this because it allows for such quick instant kills. And there's still quite a lot of uh, planks. Okay, good. I can climb over that. And there's still a ton of furniture in here. And actually, this courthouse is likely going to be a place we're going to be visiting for a little while. Um, simply because it has planks that we want. Ooh, there's an empty gas can on the ground? Really? We could probably take that. And a trash bag, which uh, is super valuable for future bins, which we should probably prioritize soon. Uh, if we wanted to make another bin, a wooden cross, well, we did, you know what? Let's see, right here. We need four garbage bags to make one. That's actually not too bad, considering what we need. Um, but there's just a lot of furniture in here we can grab that we're gonna we're gonna end up taking for ourselves But each plank we get is a wall to be upgraded and honestly making the the project uh, Focusing our, our efforts rather on I really can't go through there on upgrading our walls Probably something we can get done in a day's work easily Michael Garcia is certainly no slouch when it comes to taking care of these things. And I thought it would be so much more difficult to upgrade to level two. I figured level two would be something we would need to basically spend the entirety of the resources uh, that you would normally need if you wanted to build a level two wall. But no, that's not the case at all. And honestly, ooh, 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 log walls, that could be cool. A second, a second layer of log walls, a second floor as well. We can easily get up a second floor. Oh, all of our planks are in our bag. So let's go ahead and start doing this and let's just start upgrading our walls. This won't take long and uh, honestly, there's nothing exciting to watch. So I'll see you on the other side of the upgrades. All right, that's all we got for planks. Uh, that was actually very quick, which was great. We took a little bit of damage just because we were carrying it, but Man, we already have 187 experience. The bar is already visible. That's great. 
I think we're gonna go ahead and throw this empty gas can in the trunk because we're gonna want to fill it when we get a chance. And it's 9 p.m. And I'm a little tired, though we could get a little risky. Let's just take the car back out there. Let's see if we can grab some more planks. We did spend a majority of the day reading, which again, none of you really saw. So it's not like you got to see that anyway, but it's still daylight out. We're still in what, August? So it's still summer. We've got plenty of time. We've got plenty of daylight. Let's just go ahead and pull the car up to the door. And let's go grab some more stuff, some more planks. And we could start deconstructing some counters as well. Honestly, it might be good for us to just do some disassembling exercises. We'll probably get planks a lot more reliably from them now. So let's just go ahead and start cracking things down. And it's gonna get the experience we want. And the better the more experience we have, the better versions of things that we have we can we can we can start building. I don't want to go much past, say, like 11. And it's starting to get dark already. All right, let's uh, equip this as secondary. I don't want to get caught out by any zombos. We didn't get a ton of usable planks, but we got enough. I think that's it, actually. So maybe not enough. <laughs> we got three. But 1030 at night, I think that's where I'm happy to call it. Pop into the car waiting for us. Come on. Oops. We have headlights, do we not? We do. Perfect. So I, I swear I repaired those recently. And we actually got the hood all fixed up too. Might be due time for us to start doing a checkup. I do want to get into the mechanics aspect of uh, the game a bit more because I don't I don't use it all that often. Oop, almost crashed. Driving in the dark is dangerous, but we're good. We'll upgrade the door frame. And the last of the two planks are in this bag. I hope I, I hope I got the right doors. I'm kind of doing it blind. And it's absolutely pitch black now. I'm also kind of debating whether I should be doing any farming. But I think we're going to be all right. Let's just get into bed and let's wake up the next morning and get a full day of work in. Ooh, it's a rainy, rainy morning. Now, we've been turning the generator off at night slash during the day. Though I should probably make it have, uh, run it during the night like I normally do. But it's still okay. They're still fresh. I'm thinking we need to set up a schedule for, um for gas run days. I just don't know when when we should be doing it. We should turn it all back on, keep the keep the food fresh. It doesn't say it's a Monday or anything, which is a little bit of a bummer, and the rain is going to make it difficult for us to do anything. Man, it is maybe a thunderstorm. It's very possible a thunderstorm. The the how dark it is right now. So if I wanted to, actually, let's turn this off. Electric scrap required for repairs. That's okay. What could we do then with our current situation? Well, we could do more mechanic stuff. It's probably not a bad idea. Let's do some, uh, let's take a look at the, the actual physical um, representation of our car. Headlight's the weakest right now out of everything. That's not the worst. We could end up really worrying about this tire at some point. 54%, but I'm not going to worry about it all that often. Or all that much. Why don't we swing out? And let's see if we can get some, uh, some mechanic experience. We don't want to be wet too long. The longer we, we end up catch the, the longer we out in the rain, the wetter we get. And the wetter we get, the more likely we are to get sick. Wait, wait, wait. This, the light's not on in here, right? No. Okay. I thought for a minute this thing had power. And I was very confused what was giving it power. I thought for maybe a minute we were looking at a... 
our generator like giving it power? I was very confused, but I just think it's because there's no door, so the quote unquote ambient light. All right, right here's fine. All these cars are, are basically future projects for us. And by future project means actual projects. We just want to be messing with it. So we want to be removing tires and uninstalling other things. Uninstall, we need a lug wrench and a jack. Lug wrench and a jack. We have all that in the trunk, I think. Lug wrench. Jack. Jack. That's fine. We're a little over encumbered, but it's not too bad. We'll be pretty over encumbered here in a minute. Let's go back to one. Uninstall. We're just going to start taking tires off. That's the plan. One. I think the tire went in my inventory. Yeah, it definitely went in my inventory. We don't need the tire. Drop it. It's too heavy. Uninstall. Okay, we got it. Drop it. Again, all these tires could be valuable at some point if we ever need them, but for right this minute, uh, they are just weighing us down. I don't know if tires are going to give us much experience, but I mean, it's better than no experience, right? So this is 16.25. So is it not giving us any experience? Did I fail? Oh, I failed. Oof, the rain is getting real nasty. We're hurting the tire. There we go. We'll take a look at our experience here. And we might need to back out. 16.7, baby. We got .2 experience. And we got to get out of here. This is getting real rough real quick. Well, we might want to read then. Rainy days are uh, possibly some of the most difficult for us to do any work. Just wait till winter comes and wait till snow hits. Is that it? That's our generator. Oh my god, I thought that was a helicopter. I was going to be so freaking mad. Alright, we're in. This may be a uh, an unfortunately... Useless day. But we can always read. And we can eat. We might as well read electricity. Electrical for beginners. Give us that boosted experience. For when we start messing with that. So we'll do this. And uh, let Michael enjoy his. I guess you could call it a day off. Maybe it's fitting that we're reading electricity for beginners during a nasty, nasty thunderstorm. But, we did it. It's done and took us the entire day because he is a slow, slow reader. But, multiplier times three, baby. Why only multiplier times 0.8? Did I not finish it? I thought I finished it. I haven't finished the mechanics book. Why am I acting like I'm so confused? No wonder I haven't, uh, I'm not getting what I need here. Uh, I also heard a large bang that sounds like it came from outside. So we're gonna go outside and see if there's anybody that's popped through our fence. I don't think they would have gotten through it that quickly. I think it was probably just some sound effects or maybe just some thunder that was very, very close. But we are certainly gonna check. I mean, we have the dead zombie there. Beyond that, it looks like we're okay. Fence is held all the way through. And the rain actually means we're going to be collecting water, which is awesome. We should drink while we still can. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Let's actually go ahead and drink out of this and use it while we can because it'll refill while it continues to rain. I'm sorry, what? Tainted water, unsafe for drinking, sterilized by boiling in an oven or over a fire. That is new. That's not how it used to be. 
All right then. All right then. We'll have to turn the generator off here in a moment, but let's uh, finish this book that I thought for some reason I did finish, but I actually didn't. Hopefully you can finish it in the night, but I don't know. It's going to be difficult. If I can finish it before 1 a.m., I'll accept it. Ooh, I can't, but I... Oh, I just did. Well, perfect. Sleep! Maybe now it'll be worth doing some mechanic stuff. And hopefully the rain is gone by morning. 8.30, actually. We slept through the night nicely. A rarity. Let's throw some food in our gullet. The nutritious cabbage that we just scarfed down 24-7 and it's still raining. Well, that's unfortunate. Forgot to put the mechanics book back. Let's go do that. But we should have a nice fat bonus now. Yeah, it's a three times instead of a 0.18 times, which is double. <laughs> so doing tire changes should at least net us like one experience, hopefully. And we're just gonna have to kind of grind away on that for as long as we need to. I genuinely don't know if I can hit those other cars on the road. I feel like I've checked, but I don't remember. 51% fuel. We're gonna turn that off for now. And let's see. Yeah, we might as well. Okay, that's a success, and the last chance before it busted completely. We'll just keep doing that. All these tires are in terrible condition, but they've got some really good brakes still. And if we can yank those off, they might be good to keep around. And we still want to find a car that is going to be a good ramming car that we can start repairing. But all these, this is, this is nothing. Recipe and basic mechanics, but it requires uh, some other stuff. Here, let's try removing some brakes. Performance brakes at 12%. Likely not going to happen. Yeah. We have a 35% chance of even taking this thing off. But if we're going to practice on any car, it should be these junkers that we've got sitting around. Not the most thrilling day-to-day -day life of a post-apocalyptic survivor. But these are the necessary ones. I think we got it. We did it. Finally, we finally got it. It broke, but... I'm tempted to leave the good ones on. And really just kind of go through the car. And dismantle it piece by piece. And just the junky parts. Let's look at our skills right now. Mechanics. It's much higher. Even though we're failing at everything. So this gives us 21.95. Let's see what happens when we get this one. Okay, we got it. 23.45. We are getting that like one or two experience per successful uninstallation. We got a driver's seat. I don't know where it went. There it is. Ooh, there's something in the rear left seat. Okay. Ooh, a riverside map. I'll take it. Now we can start uninstalling. Okay, perfect. So we got all the seats and all the tires out, and that got us almost halfway. Let's get the radio out. Just a value tech. We are going to F up this gas tank real hard. Because we only have a 5% chance of pulling it out. But I bet you it'll be a nice experience bonus. We'll just keep trying. One of these days, that, that dice is going to roll in our favor. And we're going to have ourselves a broken gas tank. Okay, 
we got the suspensions. I wasn't able to get the, uh, the gas tank out. And I figured I might as well stop for now. Because we're getting thirsty. We're definitely getting tired. Um, and we need to kind of take care of ourselves. This car is becoming bits and bobs, which is good. Because it means our experience is going up as well. Again, a level one in mechanics is going to open up a whole host of doors for us. Now, the rain finally did cease, so there is the argument to be made to go get more planks and start working on that, but I don't know. I feel like getting one EXP at the very least in the mechanics is maybe more valuable to me in the long run than level five carpentry in the moment. Okay, this is weirdly still giving us water. And I'm starting to wonder why I'm being so blessed with water. But we've got plenty of time. To keep working on that vehicle. And in this video alone, it's going to be like... Three to five days of just work getting done. Gotta have days like this. No long trips, you know? I do want to get back to that prison one day, but we need to find a good armory. Something to uh, refill our ammo if we're going to be trying that again. Unless all that sound... It's possible, though, that all that sound has driven away a good chunk of the zombies. But I'm not sure. Alright, let's keep messing with things. Doors. Let's start taking doors out. So we got light bulbs, which we can drop. Windows. I didn't know we could uninstall the windows. I just bashed in the back one so I could get in there. I wish failure gave still like a fraction of the experience. I feel like it would be so much better for us if we could do it that way. We'd at least be learning through fuck-ups. Knowing what not to do next time, increasing the chances ever so slightly that every single time, not only do we learn something, but maybe we actually get it taken care of. But I'm no game designer. What do I know? Holy crap, this one won't come off. There we friggin' go. Alright, let's take a look. We're almost there. More than halfway, anyway. I just want to install this stuff. Whoa, we got gunshots. We'll work on the suspensions, even though they're in good shape. We've got plenty of other cars we can actually go to if we want good parts. And I'm just kind of dead set on stripping this thing completely, regardless of if I break it. This is a junker that has been outside for since day one. Hasn't been of much use doing really anything. So now it is. Now it's being useful. Well, everything left on this car is a 5% chance to remove. So I could sit here and gamble all night long, or I can be happy with what I've done. We can't dismantle this car wreck without a welding mask and five propane torches. Could be useful to break down for useful metals later. Um, but I should just take my quote-unquote winnings and get the hell out of Dodge. I'm a car boy. Vroom vroom, bitches. I should turn on the generator, because I'm dumb. Ah, 7 a.m. We slept real, real well last night. Uh, let's eat a little bit. I want to make sure, yeah, things are starting to get go a little bad in here. So I think it's time we put the generator on, perhaps letting the food sit a little too long. But Michael Garcia has a goal. 
nebulously, it's it's called Mechanics Level 1. But in-game, he feels like he's on the verge of a breakthrough. He's starting to understand the car, at least its core components, a little bit more. We can easily dismantle some other stuff and get that level 1 skill. Kind of become my goal of this episode. Took me a while to come around to it, but I didn't realize I didn't read a mechanics book all the way through, so I'm sitting there curious as to, like, why it's so difficult for me to do anything, but now I know. Alright, here we are. Let's get mechanics on this. Let's start removing tires. Alright, the only tire left. More gunshots. Just pain, but not the worst. Around here, I'm a little bit more concerned than I normally would be, just because I don't know what zombies may or may not still be lingering inside buildings, but as long as we're moving around the car enough, we'll be alright. We just gotta be able to see. Ah, there it is. The last four brakes on that car was enough. Now, we can feel success. We have a point in mechanics, and while the next one is certainly going to be quite the haul to level 2, level 1 opens many, many doors. The ability to install and uninstall things with higher chances of success, to craft things, and to really try to take care of our vehicle. It's a one-man crew, this Michael Garcia. Self-taught. It's really, really fun for me to look at this screen and just be like, man, look at how far we've come. We've been alive for quite some time. And his own personal stats are quite nice. A month and 13 days. His favorite weapon is his bare hands, which makes sense. His weight's going down. Nutrition system, uh, obviously. Oh no, he's, he's considered obese, I guess. Probably because all the chips we eat. Uh, <laughs> and we are uh, almost at the 500 zombie mark. Life's good, baby. Life certainly is good.